All right. So the question of the day is what mental health doctoral degrees allow for being reimbursed at the doctorate level for psychotherapeutic services? Brian, thank you for submitting this question. This question really requires us to think differently about the way that insurance companies issue contracts and how the degree and licensure status are not treated the same from a credentialing and a rate reimbursement perspective. So this is the question that we're tackling today. As always, we want to thank our sponsors and partners at Therapy Notes for sponsoring the Q&A series here at Master Insurance. Don't forget to submit your question if you have one. But Therapy Notes provides um, everything that you need to run a successful, profitable practice, y'all, from a robust notes template to um, just simple ease of documentation and that breadcrumb that's necessary for medical necessity, ease of billing, low credit card processing fees, and so much more. So head on over to therapynotes.com, use our community code MIMH to receive um, three months free of your subscription. So thank you so, so much. So let's go ahead and tackle this question. The doctoral rate from an insurance perspective is driven by licensure um, licensure status and licensure type. So you want to ask yourself, what is the minimum licensure requirement to practice based on your discipline? So I have a PhD, but my license is a master's level license. So I'm reimbursed at the master's level, despite my education and training at the doctorate level. Medical doctor. So here's the answer to your question. Medical doctors, mostly psychiatrists and PhD licensed psychologists are reimbursed at the doctoral level because this is commiserate with how their licenses are generally issued. Um, Brian, you didn't ask this question, but it's related. Regardless of your reimbursement level or your licensure type, we should regularly be reviewing our rates and raise our fees where applicable, where it makes sense. You all should, should be routinely requesting rate increases from the insurance companies. Um, if you're not sure how to get started or like, Jetta, what do I say when I'm requesting a rate increase, head on over to masteringinsurance.com, click on the blog tab on our website and scroll down just a little bit. And um, there's a blog right there called how to negotiate a rate increase. There includes a video training, a little, a brief blog, but also our rate increase template that hundreds of clinicians have successfully used to negotiate uh, rate increases. If you have questions that you'd like our team to answer for you, also while you're on masteringinsurance.com, there is a submit your question button right in the top right corner where you can ask a question and our team will answer it for you. So I hope that was helpful um, and y'all take good care.